So that brings me on to the second question for potential coaches and trainers on the DigiVet project. Um, what help could you offer me regarding the amount of information and content or material I should I should use in one of these small videos, Hannah? Do you recommend, as you said before, I should show, don't tell? Yes, exactly. I think that's a good starting point. So um, let's say um, you can always use some uh, film or video animations. I think that's quite good because if you if you connect your visuals with what you're seeing, then it um, it lasts longer in the in the, in the memory of the of the audience, and you can always let's say after one week you you always remember okay this kind of um visual yeah. says this one right okay okay so just to recap there we lost signal a, li a little bit use just make sure you use clear clear visuals and images in the video yeah yes exactly yeah. right okay and um as this is quite a short question are there any examples of this I can watch? Where else could I get some ideas? So mainly you can always search on the internet. There is so much material. And um, also on our e-learning platform, yep. there is also a lot of, of informa information there from, uh, from our partners. And yep. okay, I'm just highlighting, yes. highlighting the web address now, which is also available on the Trello board. So we can so we can have a look on the EU learning platform um, of some of the previous examples then under the uh, DigiVet creating digital learning resources. Um, Paul. Yeah, at that moment. So maybe let me add or emphasize two additional things what uh, people should keep in mind when producing these explainer videos. So I think it's quite important to start to focus on, on, on the problem, on the needs uh, of your target group. So please uh, do not produce the best well-fashioned uh, video you can imagine yourself. Be aware about your target group. So see what they need and do uh, what they need. So I think that that's always a good starting point. One another point is try just uh, to approach people and normally you approach people through emotions. So if you are able somehow uh, to rise any emotion or to, to appeal any emotion, then you are on the right way. And finally, always try to give one call for action. So if people watching your videos, motivate them to try out, to, to see or to, to do some further action and keep people motivated with that. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much.